Good morning, India. I hope all of you had a great Diwali. A lot has been happening in the world of Alcobev and hospitality, from policy changes to new launches. I am Shalini Kumar, and I will bring you all the latest news updates on this edition of the News This Week. If you want to remain updated on the Elko Web and hospitality industry news, like and subscribe to our channel, the only one of its kind in India, which comes with the quality guarantee of your most trusted Elko Web magazine, Spirits. Here are some of the headlines. Women-friendly liquor counters in Delhi retail outlets. Saudi Arabia considers duty-free alcohol sale at airports. Patna HC raises concern on state's liquor ban policy. SWA welcomes Rishi Sunak as next Prime Minister. Now, here is the news in detail. Good news for women consumers. There will be dedicated counters for women in L10 vents in Delhi, which have license to open shops in malls and airports. There are six such vents in Delhi at present. Two L10 vents have opened at Galeria Mall in Mayur Vihar and they are the first outlets in Delhi to have a dedicated sale counter for women for purchasing liquor. This step can enhance purchase of liquor among women in Delhi as women generally avoid going to standard liquor shops which are very small and have heavy rush. During the hearing of a bail petition of a person who has been in jail in a prohibition related case, the Patna High Court stated that the lives of the people of Bihar have come under risk because of the state government's failure to effectively implement its prohibition law. The court added that the large numbers of the huge tragedies taking place after prohibition came into force and wrapped the state government for having failed to develop a standard operating protocol for treatment of those people who fell ill upon consumption of spurious liquor. The Scotch Whiskey Association has congratulated Rishi Sunak on becoming the UK's next Prime Minister, Mark Kent, Chief Executive of the SWA said the Scotch whisky industry faces rising energy costs, supply chain pressures and fragile consumer confidence. The reversal of the freeze on alcohol duty further dented industry confidence and we call on the new Prime Minister to work with the Chancellor to reinstate the duty freeze at next week's fiscal event. He also said the SWA also wants to work with the new Prime Minister to grow Scotch whisky exports, including through a trade deal with India, which reduces the current 150% tariff on Scotch whisky. Saudi Arabia is considering introducing alcohol sales in duty free areas of selected airports. The plans would see limited sales of alcohol initially for international transit passengers in specific airports. It is believed that strict requirements would have to be met and the sales only available to passengers traveling on designated routes. No final decision has been made, but a consultation process is underway with key stakeholders. The Supreme Court recently said it will examine whether the bars run by the Tamil Nadu State Marketing Corporation Limited are in the exercise of the state government's sovereign function of regulating the sale of alcohol. 
against the order of the high court to pay the service tax to the tune of 40 crores rupees the taxback moved to the supreme court in an appeal stating it is an instrumentality of the state government and it runs taxback bars for carrying out one of its sovereign functions especially in light of the policy decision of running these outlets to avoid the sale and consumption of spurious liquor the operational handling of the same was given to third party contractors by tender senior advocate aryama sundaram appearing for tasmac argued that such bars had become necessary so that people had a place to drink instead of flooding parks and community spaces time for short break stay tuned Is the thrill. Welcome back and here are the industry updates. Based on the increasing demand in the north region, Medusa Beverages Private Limited, makers of Medusa beer, expands its brewing business by signing up with Mana Breweries in Uttar Pradesh, Jeevya Beverages in Rajasthan, Sukhwa's Brewery and Beverages in Uttarakhand with an intent to capitalize on rising demand in the country. Medusa will soon release a moderate variation of the premium beer. The brand is also considering to enhancing their on-trade presence in the coming years. The brand is currently available in seven states including Delhi, UP, Punjab, Chandigarh, Chhattisgarh, Himachal Pradesh, and Silvasa and growing multifold. The Scotch Whiskey Association has joined forces with two trade bodies to call on the UK Chancellor to cancel the double-digit tax hike for beer, wine and spirits. The government had previously pledged in its mini-budget on 23 September to freeze duty on beer, wine and spirits from February 2023. However, the UK's new Chancellor Jeremy Hunt cancelled the planned freeze on alcohol tax. The SWA has partnered with the Wine and Spirits Trade Association and the British Beer and Pub Association to issue a joint call to return to a freeze on alcohol duty. Stay tuned until I come back after a short break. Shot, but I got the reach. Pop lock, now I'm off the leash. Mic drop, I ain't gotta preach. I just do what comes natural. Sterling Reserve, come alive. Welcome back, and let's take a look on the new product launches. To encash upon the growing trend of RTD consumption, Redico Khetan has introduced its low alcohol beverage RTD cocktail mixes under the umbrella of the Magic Moments called Magic Moments Vodka Cocktails. Made with a vodka base with 4.8% alcohol content, Magic Moment Vodka Cocktail range comes in cans. Priced between 200 and 250 rupees, Magic Moments Vodka Cocktails will be available in three flavors, Cosmopolitan, Cola and Moito. A host of vibrant flavors will be added to this range in near future. The brand is available in Karnataka to begin with and will expand its footprint to Goa, Maharashtra and Daman and Dew in the coming months and next year it will be introduced across India. In its commitment towards 
creative expression and unique exploration, Bombay Sapphire unveils its new limited edition Bombay Sapphire Sunset. In addition to its 10 sustainably sourced botanicals, the new Bombay Sapphire Sunset is inspired by the fabled Goan Sunset and encompasses three new botanicals such as Indian White Cardamom, Golden Turmeric and Spanish Mandarin. Bombay Sapphire Sunset is a must-have collectible that emerges through an exclusive launch in Goa before expanding into other cities. Available in a 750ml bottle and best served with tonic water or ginger ale and garnished with an orange wheel, the spirit makes for the perfect and most vibrant drink to revel in during the sunset. Parnorica has released 1,000 bottles of a Havana Club expression. The new Havana Club, Don Navarro, was created in tribute to the late Jose Pablo Navarro Campa, who received the title of first master of Cuban rum in 2000. The brand said Navarro had devoted 50 years of his life to making rum and had pushed boundaries in Cuban rum, including the creation of Havana Club 7 in the 1970s using continuous aging techniques. The 40% ABV expression is made from a collection of aged rums from Havana Club's reserves. The resulting liquid offers a nose of dried fruit, honey and bitter chocolate leading to flavors of nuts, spices, chocolate, tobacco and coffee. And with that we come to the end of this bulletin. Do join in next week. For now, I am signing off. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss an update. Drink safe and stay safe. Cheers.